What's good, YouTube? We have Isaac Scott's first place Sydney, Australia Regional Cosmo Turbo. So let's go ahead and get into it. I want to note this card is OCG only, but it's not. It's illegal over in Europe and Australia. Uh, much like how we were getting jump promos and they weren't legal over there, they get this card. Kind of fair. So let's get into it. Three Cosmo Dark Destroyer, three Dark Eclipser, one Cosmo Farm Girl, two Forerunner, th one Slip Rider, three Sword Trooper. We're seeing this climb in popularity. Three Strawman, really good against Monarchs. We'll get more into that later. Three Ten Cans, three Curry Bandits, the star of the show, kind of. Three Emergency Teleport, one One for One, helping uh, Turbo Ten Can, one Regeki, three Reasonings. And two special schedules. So target one machine type monster in your graveyard with 3,000 or more attacks. Special summon that target in face up defense position. You can only activate one special schedule per turn. The set card is sent from the field to the graveyard. You can target a level 10 machine type monster in your graveyard. Add the target to your hand. So if you could, you have plays to be able to uh, slip rider this and get it to your hand for more tag out options. Three telekinetic power well, three call of the haunted, and three oasis. So max, max, and two more revival cards. As well as this. This helps uh, revive your lower guys. Uh, it helps revi revive End Graveyard Straw Man and Tin Can, which you can have Tin Can help dump that. So that's pretty cool. I don't think you can get a Tin Can with Tin Once per turn. Yeah, you can get a Tin Can with Tin Can. It doesn't say except Tin Can. That's pretty cool. Side deck one Cosmo Wicked Witch, two Dark Holes, three Coliseums, three Storm Forts. I have been hugely promoting this card in Monarchs. Really glad it's here. Three Twin Twisters, three Cosmojo, extra deck, one Alce, one Cat Shark, one Dante, one Felgrand, one Dur uh, Dolahan, my bad, one Levier, one Draco Sack, one Equipped Engineer, one Big Eye, one uh, Number Thirty Astacom, one Enerblath, one Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, one uh, Sky Cavalry, and one Break Sword. And I didn't get the last card, I believe. I think uh, maybe I did. And his extra... Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, let's go ahead and get through his thing. Uh, I asked him what the OCG card. He told me. I asked him if he had any shoutouts or notable rounds. Shoutouts to his team straight out of Comp Kempton. Straight out of Kempton, not Compton. It's a play on that. And our YouTube channel. Uh, and if anyone wants to discuss the deck with me or ask any questions, they can PM me on Dueling War Network at Push Mark Henry. Kind of a cool name. Wrestling uh, meme. So that's about that. And uh, his DN used to be something else, but it got banned. Thanks a bunch for doing this, though. means a lot. So there you go. First place, kind of turbos. Really cool. Uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, this is really good against Monarchs uh, because you can go ahead and bring back, say, a Dark Destroyer, bring back a Tin Can, mill with the Tin Can, and now you have two tar tag out targets for uh, your Dark Destroyers that you uh, might have in hand or get in hand. So, uh, well, you can bring back, you know, uh, other ships to do that as well. But when you do that, you have two tag out targets. So one lone Stormforth isn't going to wreck your board. And you're going to be able to chain uh, to certain effects and disrupt still. Which disruption, of course, is one of Cosmos' biggest tools. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been House of Champs with another pretty interesting deck list.